Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwadner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today, we have the great pleasure of meeting with Anthony Iannarino. He is the author of several best-selling books and he is going to share with us the title of his new book. What is the title, Anthony? Elite Sales Strategies. What does an elite salesperson look like? I don't know. They look all different ways, Gerhard. <laughs> you know, some are male, some are female, some tall, some short, but they all have a lot of things in common. And, and that is the propensity to be one up in the relationship with their client, which means they know more than their client does about the decision that they're making. So there's something implied in this um, uh, conversation, which is that you suppose that salespeople are confident enough to be in that one up sort of mindset. It takes time for people to get there. I mean, you need to get some experience. You also need to help people and help them get those results. And when you know you can produce those results, your confidence goes up dramatically. So there's two parts to it. There's competence and there's confidence. And the more confidence you need, the more competent you need to be that you have that ability to get those results. So that's really one of the things that's a, a real factor for salespeople. So when you look at salespeople, it's hard to tell when they're not doing so well, whether it is a lack of skills or a lack of confidence. Yeah. And generally, the greater their skills, the more confident they are, but only after they get experience. You know, so one of the ways that sales training is broken is that the sales trainer shows up and has to have perfect delivery. Everybody has to have perfect comprehension. They have to have per perfect retention. They have to have the ability to execute four or five things that they learned after seeing it exactly one time. That, that's not a great way to develop salespeople. A better way is to teach them something and let them go out and get experience with it. Let them have conversations with other people so they can sort of triangulate where their mistakes are, and then let them keep practicing until they get competent. But it, it can take time to do that. So what percentage of your book is about strategy for better results? And what percentage is uh, tactics and skills? So there's one giant strategy, Gerhard. We call that concept one up, which means I know more than you know. Not about everything, about some things. You know way more about your business than I do and more about your industry than I do. But I know more about the intersection of where our businesses come together and how to help you get those results. But then there's a number of other strategies. So one is information disparity. As soon as the internet came out, people said, there's no more information disparity. It's all parity now. Like your clients know everything you know. No, they don't. <laughs> they can go look at your website. But that website doesn't give them the experience that you have helping clients improve their results. What's important is your insights and your experience. You should do this this way, not that way, because these factors are not true for you. These factors are true for someone else, which is why they can do this a different way than you, but it's not going to work for you unless you decide you want to change this thing. So that's the kind of, like I'm going to call it tribal knowledge that lives inside the four walls of a sales organization. When they're out helping people, they're learning what works and what doesn't work. And so the information disparity is about the experience that we have in knowing what works and what doesn't work and why. Another strategy is to have a vantage point. So the vantage point is all of your experience helping other people and knowing what conversations they need to have, who they need to have in the room when they have those conversations, and how they're going to pursue their, their buyer's journey. And it's really buyer's journeys. You know, Different people inside the company are all having a different buyer's journey. I'll give you one more triangulation strategy. So triangulation strategy is when you wipe out your entire competitive field by doing this thing where you actually leave the playing field and go up to the top where you're looking down on it. And you say, uh, this is a model. And here's what's really good about that model. They have the lowest price. Like you're not going to pay less. That's a great model, but you are going to make some concessions. And so I'm going to sing your praises. Great model because it's a, a good price. But now I got to confess your sins. <laughs> There's a lot of concessions that you don't know you're making and you'll discover them later on when you have to do a lot of rework and you need to hire six more customer service people to take all your complaints and all of the other things. And what I'm going to do is do that even with my own model. So my model is 
high trust, high value, high caring. And that that's the model that we operate. But there is a concession that you have to make with that. You have to pay enough that I can be those things for you. What about uh, price objections? Uh, how do you uh, suggest that uh, salespeople should deal with that? If you have the higher price and you, that's your model, and I hope it is your model because it's a good model, uh, you want to start at the beginning and say, Gerhard, you're going to find out that we're somewhere between eight and 11 pennies more on the dollar than the next best thing that you could do. But I want to share with you while we have some time together what we do with your eight cents or your 11 cents and how we invest it to make sure that you get the exact results that you need and that you have the certainty that those results are going to be present for you here. Is that okay if I do that? Yeah. So I want to tell you at the beginning, because now I have the whole sales conversation to prove that I can get you those better results and that it's worth it. When does the book come out? Uh, April 18th? April 19th. April 19th. So I would recommend that anybody who is listening to us today, go to amazon.com and uh, get Anthony's book, Elite Sales Strategies. Thank you, G. 